<clears throat> Welcome to the Mark Boudelier Show, where we show Johns and sometimes drip. Drip or drown, baby. Drip. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It is I, Mark, Mark Boudelier, and today we're going to be remaking a video that we visited a while ago where there was an essence sale. I went through, I found a handful of stuff, and I showed them to you, and yada, yada, yada. We're basically going to do that all over again. So, I went through moments ago, took me quite some time to find just a list of stuff that I thought was pretty cool, and I'm pretty much just going to be showing it to you guys. So, if you enjoy this content, leave me a like, leave me a comment, do all those things, hit the subscribe button, hit the push bell maybe, all of those definitely help the channel out and would definitely be appreciated so yeah um, I'm going to preface this video by saying that some of these items are going to be more expensive than others I tried to kind of get a wide variety so that everyone can kind of be happy um, I'm not telling anyone to go and buy every single item on this list by any means um, I just wanted to show stuff that kind of sparked my interest so yeah um, we'll go ahead and get started so the first item here, I was going to organize these by like t-shirts, shoes, all that, but I was just screenshotting, so it's going to be all over the place. But anyways, the first item is these boots. They are a pair of Alix boots. I'm a big fan of Alix. I think their stuff is super wearable, pretty good quality. These boots are really cool. It's a pair of Chelsea's. They have kind of a futuristic look to them. They got that big old Vibram sole on them, lots of like ridges going on very very futuristic it's it's it's, it's a nice boot um, originally 750 down all the way to 473 still you know the price is like higher but it's a boot that I feel like you could wear a lot if I owned it I certainly would probably be wearing that a good bit kind of reminds me of the 80s boots that I have already um, just kind of a different aesthetic if you will of like a similar shoe but yeah really nice um, boot I feel like that's one of those items that's probably not gonna last too long because I don't know, pretty steep promo for for Alix, um, and just a good style. So, yeah, that's the first one. We're going to just bang these out because there's literally 20 items. Keep in mind, all of these will be linked down in the comment section. Definitely go check them out. It would help the channel tremendously. So, yeah, next up are these Anderson Bell trousers. You guys have seen these. I own these. I found them on Grailed back uh, whenever that was and I love them. I didn't even know they were still available online. They're there, and they're at 209. I wear those so much, they're like 24% off. I paid less than that, but I can never find them ever since I got them. Like, I've been trying to tell people where to get them, and like, they're literally like, so hard to find secondhand at this point, but super sick pant. Wanted to throw those in there. Let's keep it moving. Next up, we have this Awake sweater. I think Awake makes some really nice knitwear. There's like that whole realm of like these kind of streetwear, skates, leisure type of like brands that um, I think a lot of them have really stepped it up, especially in the knitwear department. So this is just a nice little like tulip vest is what it's called. Very, very Tyler the Creator going on right here, but I think the colors are great. I think it's a cool style, a good like statement sweater, um, but yet still something that I feel like you could wear often. It could kind of be like your piece, if you will, you know, it could be like your... I don't know. I feel like I have a lot of statement pieces that I wear frequently and they just kind of become like something I go go back to like over and over. A lot of people buy statement pieces and are like, oh, I can wear this once and never again. No, I feel like it's honestly cool to kind of have it be like your item in a sense. So definitely a cool one. Uh, next up is another knitwear piece. It is this beam, beam, beams, um, like sweater polo thing, knit argyle, whatever. Uh, I just think it's cool. It's a nice little like preppy vibe. I feel like this is low key some sh that my mom would have uh, put me in back in the day, like take me to Old Navy and I'd be wearing like an Argyle polo the next day. But I think it's pretty sick, pretty cool. I love beams. Uh, they make great knitwear. So I wanted to throw that in there. To keep on that same track, the next item is another beams, beams, beams knitwear option. It is this cardigan, this patchwork cardigan that. For 158 is not super bad because a lot of detail on this one and honestly knitwear can get kind of pricey beams does it really well so not too bad of a price if you ask me next up are these pants 
It is a pair of brain dead pants. They're like some skates cargo type pants. I've never actually seen these before, but they just kind of caught my eye. Um, definitely has more of like a streetwear kind of vibe to them. I don't know if it's something I would necessarily wear, but it's kind of on that same track of something that I would enjoy. But yeah, a really nice straight leg. It kind of has like some yellow. They're black with like a little bit of like yellow accent, uh, like color going on. Um, and then this like drawstring. I don't know. I think they're a nice, easy kind of like wearable pant, something that you could probably wear nearly every day and get away with it. So wanted to throw it in there. And while we are on the topic of brain dead, while we're on the topic of brain dead, I also have these shades. As you guys know, I have a pair of brain dead sunglasses that I wear literally all the time. And this pair was on sale. So it's only 16% off of the retail, so it's not like a super big discount, but hey, cheaper than what it was, 181, a uh, nice pair of frames, not the same ones that I have, but I've, I thought these were a nice wearable option as well, so figured I'd show them. But anyways, coasting on through, let's move on to these camper shoes. I think camper makes like some really cool um, shoe options. They're all, again, a very futuristic look to them. Kind of that same vibe as the Alix ones, but these are like a mule. So I don't know. I think it's a cool alternative if you're looking at like the Birkenstock Bostons or like a pair of like Suey Cokes or like whatever else. I think this is kind of a cool um, alternative to those. So yeah, it's just these loafer. They call them loafers. It's more like a mule. And I just really like the color. There's a lot of cool stuff in the camper section of Essence. So do check it out. Um, but we will keep it moving. I wanted to kind of get some accessories in the mix as well. Um, so I found this ring from this designer called Chinteo. I've been following along with his stuff for a hot minute now. I've never owned anything, but this stuff is so, so nice. And I always see it every Essence sale. There's like a good bit of it that's in there. And like I've always wanted to pull the trigger on, on something, but I just never have. Uh, it's pricey. It is. You know, this ring is on sale and it's still 200 bucks for, you know, a ring. But... It is so nice looking. It's just like very detailed. I'm pretty sure they're all just like fully handmade. Um, it has like this oxidization kind of stuff going on to where it kind of like is going to get shinier over time like as you wear it. It's just, it's the little things, you know? And I guess, you know, in fairness, it's hard to justify spending a lot of money on like rings or like belts or glasses, things like that. You just, it doesn't seem like something you'd want to spend a lot of money on, but you wear those items like every single day. So maybe it's a little bit more justifiable that way. I don't know, man. I'm I'm considering. I'm considering. We'll see. Uh, but we'll move on. Next up is this pair of boots from DM. Uh, it is this hiking boot, which is like almost like a duck boot mixed with like a Chelsea boot kind of thing. Um, I think it's super sick. I feel like for a while everyone kind of hated duck boots because they're just kind of like, I don't know. They're a little odd. I feel like I, when I think of duck boots, I think of like a certain like aesthetic that is not necessarily it for me, but <laughs> I think these ones are really cool. Uh, nice, like all black colorway, very wearable. I don't know. It seems like they'd be comfy too. And of course they're going to be super high quality. So yeah, I thought I would throw that in there, but let's keep it moving. Next up is from the brand Dime. Dime is, you know, Another one of those like skate, leisure, whatever brands. Um, it's a pair of fleece pants. Fleece pants? Fleece pants? Fleece pants. Um, and I think they're pretty cool. It's like a cream color. It's got like some accents on the knees. And I don't know. I recently got a pair of fleece pants myself. And they're just nice to lounge in, you know? Maybe you go to sleep in them. Maybe you wake up and go grab coffee wearing them. You know, just throw on a hoodie in those. It might not be the most like dressed up pant in the world, but I think it's just a good kind of go to, especially when it gets real chilly outside. I don't know. I like to having that as an option, but that's just me. Let's keep it on moving. Next up is this beanie from Eckhouse Lata. I like pretty much all of their stuff. Beanies are a hard one for me because I have a very large head um, that you know, just doesn't really work with beanies or any hats for that matter all that well. I've uh, been searching far and wide for a hat that doesn't look stupid on my head, but um, haven't found it yet. 
Maybe this one is it. Maybe this is the one. Am I going to test it and see? Probably not, but I figured I'd show it to you guys. Um, it's just a nice knit beanie. Love the colors on it. It's like gray green, kind of a yellow. Um, just looks cozy, you know? Just, just a nice... If you're trying to go to the coffee shop and swoon all the people that are there, wear this beanie. This beanie, nice little wool jacket and a novel. Maybe some glasses. You got it. You got it. Uh, anyways, let's move on. We have this bag from Engineered Garments. It is a messenger bag, so, you know, it's going to be a little bit more elevated from a tote, but still pretty much a tote. It's leopard print, which for some reason I've been sort of kind of feeling leopard print recently, especially from Engineered Garments, because it's like, it's not just a leopard print. It's like this nice, like, perfectly, like, faded, like, worn in looking leopard print, if that makes sense. Like, it's not super bright but it just has like a good um neutral kind of vibe to it just a little bit of a print to add to your you know otherwise pretty normal outfit i think it's a nice little pop so wanted to throw it in there but we shall continue so next up the brand goldwin they do a lot of like outdoorsy type stuff gorpy stuff if you will and i think they're pretty under the radar if you ask me they make really good stuff this one right here, I think is honestly a pretty good deal. It's this down shirt jacket, so it's not going to be nearly as thick as a puffer, but it's still going to keep you nice and warm. Still has a uh, down filling in it, and it's under $300 right now, which let me tell you, puffer jackets, especially ones that are filled with down, are very, very expensive these days. Like Even like if you go like the Uniqlo route or something like that, you're still going to be spending like a decent like chunk of money, so it's like to get one that's like a really like great everyday quality, you're going to be spending a little bit. I think this one's just a good option. It's a good like everyday piece in a sense. Um, but I don't know. I just wanted to throw it in there. So we'll continue. Next up, kind of along the same lines, is this puffer scarf, which I think is kind of a cool look as well. It kind of adds like an element of like texture as well as just like volume i guess like volume to your neck i don't know in toasty um but yeah it's the brand gramici they do a lot of outdoor stuff as well this one's honestly you know 60 bucks for a scarf is a little high for sure but it is again that puffer material it is down i think yeah it's down um yeah i don't know i think it's kind of a nice little nice little touch so wanted to throw that in there but we shall continue we have this heliot emil carabiner shirts this is just, again, that techie vibe. I don't know why I just pulled so much tech wear type of stuff in this thing. We got, you know, this with the Alix boots and all that other shit. Um, very, very futuristic vibes. But I think this shirt is pretty cool. Um, definitely. Price point is, you know, it's not cheap. 278 it's pretty high. Um, but I just wanted to show it, you know. Even if you're not buying this stuff, even if it's not, if it's not stuff that you typically look at, just kind of shedding some light on some of these brands on some of these styles that's what it's all about right so there's that next up this one is a little more practical if you will it is from lady white co i've talked about them before just high quality t-shirts and basics and things like that uh this is a brown jersey turtleneck so basically a turtleneck t-shirt if you will um i've been kind of wanting some of those myself because my skin is kind of sensitive, like with like wool and stuff like that. So if I'm wearing like a wool turtleneck or even like this jacket kind of like touching my neck a little bit, it it's a little itchy for me. But I feel like if you have that, which is like a jersey material, like a cotton or whatever, it's going to cover some of that, make the itch a little more bearable, if you will. And also it's just great for layering. So if you like wanted to put like another shirt over that or something, it just gives you like an extra little element. I don't know. Pretty practical if you ask me. Also, it's long sleeve, so just adds to the layers to keep you nice and toasty. So, good stuff. Um, we have a few more, three more pieces. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get those out of the way. We got these New Balance uh, Tokyo Design. I don't remember if this is a Snow Peak collab or not. I don't think it is. I feel like it would say it, but maybe I'm wrong. But it is the Neobium Concept 2 Sandals. I realize sandals might not be what you're looking for moving into this cold weather, but these are pretty sick. Good little uh, discount, the 20% off or whatever. 
and I don't know. I'm not usually a navy shoe wearer. I think they actually came in a tan color that I prefer, but I couldn't find it on there, so maybe it sold out. But yeah, I wanted to show it in there anyways. Good little mm, gorpy option for you. Uh, so yeah. Next up, it would not be a Mark Boudelier Essence video without me showing at least one Reese Cooper piece, so I figured why not show this one. It is a collaborative t-shirt between Mr. Reese himself as well as Juliet Johnstone, who is like a really cool artist. She does a bunch of like paint. I think she started with like like pants, like she just did a bunch of like paintings and stuff on pants, but now she does like t-shirts, um, fleece jackets, and like a few other things that she's uh, done here and there. Super awesome stuff. I'm a huge fan, and I think they just absolutely nailed it on this t-shirt. The graphics are super beautiful. Um, very wearable t-shirt. You could layer with this. Like, the graphic's not too in your face, but it's, like, just enough. I don't know. I think there's nice details to it. So, wanted to throw that one in there. Um, and let's end it with a simple sneaker, little hiking sneaker, if you will. Uh, it is this pair of Roas. Um... It's just the black low top ones. I think this is a great alternative to Solomon's, which I feel like lately, I feel like back in the day, I used to hear more about Roa than Solomon's and now it's kind of like switched over. So everyone's on the Solomon wave. And I don't know, I think Roa deserves a little bit of recognition too. I'm a big fan of both of them. I think this is a good, very wearable shoe. Um, 258, not super, not super terrible, given that these are like extremely, um, durable for the most part i think this is a good option for you but that's just me uh but yeah that is everything that is all of the picks i hope you guys enjoyed them again i'm gonna have all of the links down below as well as just a general essence link if you do shop on that it would definitely uh help me out um as well as if you shop from any of these links that also definitely helps me out so thank you guys so much um let me know what you guys are looking at in terms of like the essence sale. Like if there's any items that are kind of catching your eye, I'll definitely take a look as well. Or if you want to have more conversation about all of these crazy sales, check out my discord where we continuously talk about clothing as well as other miscellaneous stuff. So you don't want to miss that. Yeah, that's about it. So thanks again. I've said that like five times now really dragging on this outro. Love ya. Have a good day. Bye. And happy Thanksgiving, guys. Have a good one. Haha. <laughs> Enjoy. What to Baden, I, I, I saw what you said in the last video. Love you, dude. Thanks for... Thanks for you. Thanks.